Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. The dead 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 1st. Can you believe this? It's going to take to the 1st of the March. We'll be able to extend up beyond that. We essentially pass at each of ensembles. Maybe went around a couple of weeks. So we'll have a look at Surface Beach at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of March. I should get over that for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video release today was our 6th UK weather forecast. And we've also released the EC30 day uh, forecast for uh, Europe as well. I hope you check out all day videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gaz. It's running very late with today's 10 to board. Today I'll be having lunch in Brahm with my good friend Shiram. Hello to Shiram. We had a great time, didn't we? Very nice chat and very nice lunch. So um, thank you so much, Shiram, for your uh, for your time for your company you know and and uh, ha having a lovely have, have a lovely meal with me had a lovely time didn't we <laughs> uh, thank you so much my friend uh right okay let's crack on then with 10 to 14 day again starts off having a look at the central in temperature the ct is sitting at 8.7 that's a remarkable 4.9 degrees above 61 died on the average that's visual to yesterday to the 19th of february that's probably about as high as it's going to get might get to 8.8 .8, i suppose and then we'll probably start dropping these are the 500 millibar high tonic flow charts. Penn State University got the ECMWF on the top, and the GFS is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 80,000 feet, is an area in the actual high pressure, low pressure, are being moved around by a jet stream running above. Um, blue extrapolates you below average height, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average height, which is high pressure. Um, no, the East Shed, it was a 10 day time frame, has a ridge out in the Atlantic, piling up heights into the Atlantic and low pressure up towards Green Iceland. That sends us on to a northwest southeast alignment with wind blow and jet stream as well. That could be quite chilly as we go into the early part of March. The GFS is very similar, although it does have more in way of high pressure to our east and northeast. Low pressure then and a jet stream going even further southwards with that. Um, and again, we've got the ridge in the Atlantic. That's a little bit more cold snap potential. With the uh, GFS, we could bring wings in further from further from the north of the GFS, but we might also start importing some milder air from the uh, south and from the south beach. So the GFS is one of those um, charts that could go in either direction. Uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature amputation ensembles. That could be so Wolverhampton today, home of my dining partner, Shiram. So um, we're starting off above average, of course, at the moment. Got a couple more days of very mild upper air temperature to go. But a drop in the upper air temperature is taking place for around Thursday. And then after that, just hovering around or slightly below average as we go through the end of February and on into the beginning of March. You'll notice the thick green line, which is the GFS 6F operation run. That really starts ticking up and becomes quite a quite a mild outlier, actually, as we go into the early stage of March, uh, March. So when you see that in a couple of minutes, keep that in mind, but it, but it is a bit of a warm outlier. Um, so starting off very mild, then becoming uh, much cooler through the last week of February and into the beginning of March, I think is the storyline at the moment. Precipitation-wise, again, lots of precipitation spikes from start to finish. The unsettled weather continues. Let's have a quick look at Snow Row for Wolverhampton. Um, no, not a huge amount, doing, but there are one or two snow spikes there around the 23rd. And then again, maybe into the early part of March, but not all that encouraging for snow in Wolverhampton in the next couple of weeks. Temperature normally is from the 20th February 28th, coming out about average, not a particularly big deviation either way. And precipitation and noise from the 20th of 20 to 28 February, near yeah, normal, but a little bit wetter than average around some western and southern coastal regions. The latest wind from out from Earth, nullschool.net, shows that we're still drawing in most southwesterlies from the subtropical Atlantic, as we have done all month. However, there is lots of low pressure areas out in the Atlantic. And plenty of weather runs through. And eventually, once these fronts push through, then we're going to start drawing in the wind from the North Atlantic, from around Greenland, Iceland, and that sort of area. 
Okay, let's start going through chart data. Remember, South Lakes UK, mate, your run is uh, looking. Hold on. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, everybody. South Lakes UK, mate, your run is looking for the night on Friday. So cool and showery then with winds in for west. The same cool and showery into weekend. But then we get the secondary low starting to move in through Sunday. And that sort of takes a southerly track. So a bit of uncertainty with that if it pushes in. Crossing Wales, for example, it could give a very wet day on Sunday. Conversely, it might even give a little bit of snow on the northern edge. Or it could go down to Biscay. So uh, a couple more, more days needed to firm up on that. By the beginning of next week, we're going into this chilly northeast wind as high pressure starts reaching in from the Atlantic. Now, this is how the GF, uh, so Icon, is looking, I should say. Uh, again, winds coming in from a west northwesterly direction there with Icon cool and showery. We keep those cool and showery dishes going through the weekend into the beginning. Next week, and then higher pressure starts reaching in from the Atlantic, begins to settle things down. But that's quite a calm bridge and could certainly deliver some chilly nights. Now, I think we might be able to see the Icon 12Z run as well as I'm recording this video so late. So let's just check that out. So that's Saturday. Again, cool, showery, low pressure, dominating winds coming in from the uh, northwest. We go through to the day Sunday and we've got some secondary feature pushing through there. So that could bring more persistent areas of rain, possibly something a little bit windy. Tree may be possible with that. Uh, I guess that way by Monday, and winds going into uh, a north northeast direction. That could bring some wintry showers into the north and to the northeast. And then high pressure starts ridging in from off the Atlantic as we mooch our way into the middle of next week, turning drier, but quite chilly under that ridge of high pressure. And I suspect there will be overnight frost, if nothing else. The KMA uh, looks like that. So once again, cool and showery through the end of week and into weekend. Then the secondary low coming in. That brings some really wet weather, parts of England and Wales, but might also deliver some snow to like Northern England, Southern Scotland, maybe Northern Ireland with those northeast winds. So there's a lot of uncertainty about that low pressure. Uh, sometime around Sunday. In any case, it goes slinking off into Biscay, and uh, we get a ridge building in behind it, so turning drier for a couple of days early next week, and then we're back into quite cold and uh, unsettled weather again, with more low pressure pushing in from the, the North Atlantic. So quite a chilly and unsettled flavour to the weather there with, uh, with the KMA. OK, GFS Midnight Run, all much of a much this Friday, cool and showery then into the weekend, staying cool and showery as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, we go through to run Sunday through the morning. This air flow pressure will sink southward over top of the country. That kinks the weather again, quite cool and showery. That gets out of the way. We open the door into a chilly northeasterly wind behind it, probably with an increasing risk of overnight frost. We have low pressure back in from off the Atlantic by day 10, which is the 1st of March. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, possibly bringing something a little bit milder in with it. The extended range looks like that. So just saying generally rather unsettled. Not particularly cold, but saying generally rather unsettled um, through the first week of March. Uh, GFS 6, uh, which we know is going to become a warm outlier later on, looks like this. So that secondary low goes all the way down to this day with the uh, GFS um, 6. Uh, so we don't get a hit from that, such as we see with KMA, for example. Just keep low pressure ro rolling around country, close to the country, really, through to the beginning of next week. When you say in from the northeast, so cool and showery, possibly quite cold even. Um, with that, heading up toward day 10, then everything starts to shift round to the south. This is where the mild uh, scenario comes in. Get high pressure, uh, high pressure to our east, low pressure to west, and that draws the wind up from a southerly direction. So, takes a spring there through the opening uh, days of March. Bear in mind, again, that is an outlier, though, within uh, the GFS 6. So, I can show you a little bit of a GFS 12 there, but not all of it. So, um, let's quick go back. It's our GFS 12s there. It's looking again cool and showery on Friday, and keeping that going into the weekend as well. Oh, next week looking quite cold. Again, low pressure east winds coming in from that chilly north or north east. Right, so northern is are maintained as we approach uh, day 10. Now, here's a chart for day 10. Low pressure then is away to our southwest. We bring up the wind from more southerly direction, but it's still quite chilly. Let's see how much 
further on we can get. So that's certainly the 3rd of March, 276 hours. But a bit of a battle's going on. Low pressure off the coast of Biscay and uh, Spain, trying to pull up this subway wind. But they have got a blocking area of high pressure in the North Atlantic, which is trying to keep the uh, cooler or colder weather going from the north. Um, eventually, the low pressure goes sinking away to south, and I think the GFS-12 is going to return us back into cold weather. Yes, it does. So by the 5th of March, we're actually bringing like a northerly bend as the low pressure goes sinking down to the coast of Portugal. So a lot of uncertainty as we go through the first week of March, but we might see the weather becoming significant. I don't think any further than that. No, we can't. Right, so we might see the weather getting significantly colder, though, through the first week of March, or we could see spring. If you enjoy the video, so it's one or the other. If you enjoy the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Show show 140 about what I've comment let's do. If you've got this and all that video, don't get to your friends about guys where it's show show one for doing that. We've hit 18,000 subscribers. You have a couple of days to enjoy that and then we're going to start pushing on to uh, 18.1k. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for getting us to 18,000 subs. Right, GM, again, with the low pressure coming in off the anti cool and showery as we're uh, going into the latter stages of this week. And then on into the weekend, we keep those cool shade dishes going much further north with that secondary area of low pressure. So that brings probably quite a bit of rain across England, where it might be something a bit wintry parts of northern England there on Sunday through the Monday. That low bank gets out of way, high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic, going back to a mild just sort of westerly flow through the middle part of next week. And then we go back into those cooler or colder northwesterlies again. So by day 10, 1st of March, we're looking pretty cold and showering um, once more, potentially about to set up a northerly. Uh, let's see if we can show you the GM at 12 cents as well. We may be able to. So start at 96 hours. Again, yes, we can. Cool and showery there on Saturday with GEM. And then into Sunday, low pressure coming up. A bit further south with that. So wet into the south. Again, might be a little bit of wintry potential for more northern regions on Sunday. We'll have to further up on that, the low pressure sinks down into France, and we pull wind in to a cooler or colder north or northeasterly. On into the uh, middle of next week, higher pressure starting to uh, build in from off the Atlantic. It goes a bit milder around the middle part of next week, but probably not for long, as we get up towards day 10 with the GEM 12Z, it looks like we're about to sink another low in a return back to that cool, possibly quite cold, northwesterly flow once again. Uh, okay, and finally, we'll show our data. This is the ECM uh, midnight run. Was looking, is looking. Um, no, winds in from a showery northwest direction, cool and showery up the end. We into the weekend, we keep that cool, showery weather going. Low pressure rain diving southwards, Sunday through the budget. That could bring some rain, maybe in something a little bit wintry with it. We'll know a little bit close to the time frame. High pressure and ridges in from off the Atlantic temporarily, turns a bit milder through the middle part of next week, and then by day 10, which is the first of March, we're back into those cooler or colder northwesterlies once again. Cold zonality. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tobetshow.com. Lots of wet wind weather coming in tonight and tomorrow. Plus, the country that rain will eventually get out of the way. More heavy rain sweeps through on Thursday, and the high night begins to go colder as well. The showers starting to turn wintry into the north and the west. The end of next week is, is cold and showery with northwesterly winds. They carry on into the weekend as well, probably a return of overnight frost too. And then that area of low pressure dies south. We just get a little glancing blow from that through Ireland into the very, very far southwest of the country. Um, but otherwise, the precipitation actually goes through. Go down to France, Biscay. Um, then try out and a little bit milder through the middle next week before we return back to those uh, wet, windy, and then cold and showery conditions by day 10 with winds returning back to the northwest once more. These are the options on the table within the East Ensemble on Solid Day 4, Day 10. The Atlantic Met Office gets us to the 1st of March, 26th November to the East Show on Solid with a deep trough of low pressure over top of the country combined with a mid Atlantic ridge and winds are coming in from the northwest. He's right, so unsettled and quite cool with that. And then 25, so it's actually 50 feet square, have low pressure going over top of the country, but perhaps slightly more to the east, high pressure reaching through the Atlantic. So that could be a rather colder scenario. And it is like a 50-50 split, really, 26 against 25. And then in two in time, 
These are the options that we've got. It will go to the 6th of March. 13 members of ECM ensembles with a Scandinavian high and an easy wind. So that could be quite cold as we go through the first week of March. Also drier, of course. 10. Um, there's low pressure right over top. Don't touch just keep the deluge going. We've got 9 with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. Again, around that, we could bring in quite a cold easterly flow. We've got 7 with high pressure up towards Iceland. Low pressure over France. Again, wind could be coming in from an east or north east direction. We've got six mode with westerly high pressure over France and uh, low pressure around ice and green. And that bring in a mild west south westerly flow. And then we've got another six with high pressure just to our south east. And that draw be drawing up quite a mild south south east. So a range of options there. A lot of them I have to are involving high pressure. So we might be shifting into something drier through the first week of March, uh, breaking up the deluge. Of course, where the high pressure sits will be the critical factor as to whether we have a cold start to March or a mild start to uh, March. And uh, we won't know that for a little while, but we may be seeing a shift to higher pressure there through the first week of March. Right, finally, CFS V2, and then we're done for this very late and delay. 10 to 14 days. So sorry that I'm running late today, everyone. Um, okay, so this is how the CFS is looking. Week 1, 500 mil of our high tolerance from the 20th, 26th of February. Again, low pressure just out to our west, bringing the wing from off the Atlantic. So cool, well, unsettled and showery and turning cooler eventually as well. In a week two, which is the 27th of February to the 4th of March, low pressure sinks through the western side of Europe. High pressure pulls out into the Atlantic. Winds go on the northwest southeast alignment. So turning um, perhaps colder there through uh, the opening days of March and still unsettled. Week three. <laughs> it's going to be the 5th to the 11th of uh, March and high pressure then out to the Atlantic, probably setting up like a northwest south east alignment to wind flow and jet stream, low pressure towards Iceland and Greenland. And then lastly, week 4 will be the 12th to the 18th of March with a mid-Atlantic ridge, low pressure over Scandinavia and winds coming in from the northwesterly to potentially slightly northerly direction. Let's very quickly go back to the uh, 12ZGFS. So, um, 5th of March there, 3 to 4 hours. We've got wind in from the north. Let's see what the uh, latest is showing, if it's updated. It has not. Oh, right. I thought that would be updated by now to uh, 348. So, <laughs> not sure what the delay is there. Never mind. Well, anyway, we'll abandon that idea then, shall we? Um, no, okay. So, we're going to 336 hours anyway. And uh, again, winds in from north. So, it looks like the GFS 12Z is ending on a pretty cold note there. With, uh, with a northerly through the first week march. In complete contrast to the GFS 6 Z, um, which, if we go back to it, was drawing up those mild southerly south pieces. So that's GFS 6 Z around the 4th, 5th of March. This is the GFS 12 Z around the 4th, 5th of March. And uh, they're totally opposite. One southerly, one northerly. So it tells us that it's a lot of uncertainty, as we just saw through the uh, options on the table in the East Ensembles. Tells us there's a lot of uncertainty uh, two weeks out. We shall wait and see. Right, but guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Won't drop a comment as soon when think about this and all of our bits and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And uh, don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web is we've got to 18k. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for getting us to 18,000 subscribers. It's amazing, it's incredible. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll just start having the other channel tomorrow. We have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. You have a strap to watch. Well, um, the episode of that eludes to me, possibly episode 15, maybe 16. I don't know. <laughs> I better find out before I record it, but I had not. And I'm going to be live at 6 p.m. I'll be live about 10 to 14 day. So uh, I shall see you tomorrow. Live at 6 for the 10 to 14 day update. But for today's 10 to 14 day and for all today's videos and content, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening. And bye for now.